So let's say uh, you have two containers. One has helium. They're connected. And the other one has hydrogen. And they, initially, they're blocked off by some valve. Okay, you got it closed off. You know the pressure of helium, partial pressure of helium. You know the uh, volume of the helium container. You know the pressure of the hydrogen container, and you know the volume of the hydrogen container. And then the temperature is constant throughout the problem. So temperature equals constant. It's just a number. Okay, it's not going to change. Uh, what the question asks for is if you open this valve, what's the like new pressures and the total pressure okay, of the system? Uh, so this can be done a couple ways. Let me show you at least one way, maybe I'll show you two. So what you're going to do, um, I kind of think ideal gas law. So this is a Dalton's Law problem, and you can definitely use ideal gas law when you do a Dalton's Law problem. Or any of the other gas laws will hold. So uh, the way I thought of it is, what if I find the moles of this, and I find the moles of this, and then I'll add them to get the total moles, and then I'll use, I'll back calculate to get the total pressure. So you'll see, I'll write it out, but that's kind of my methodology. So I can find the moles of helium, by saying pressure of helium, I, I know that, that's given, times the volume of helium, that's given, divided by uh, R, that's a constant, and temperature is a constant. So I can find the moles. I can also find the moles of hydrogen. Let's put it up here, comma. Moles of hydrogen is equal to pressure of hydrogen, that's given, times the volume of hydrogen, that's given, over RT, and those are both constants. This allows me to find the total moles, and this gets into Dalton's law. It's the moles of hydrogen plus the moles of helium. Sum of those is total moles. So now what I'm doing is I'm pretending we open the valve, and it's free flowing back and forth. So now, uh, when the, what the question asked me, what's the total moles? A uh, total pressure, sorry. Total pressure, uh, well, I could just use the ideal gas law, nRT over V. That's the total moles to find the total pressure. Hopefully that makes sense. And I need the total volume to find the total pressure. Well, total moles, I found that a little bit earlier. R is a constant, T is a constant in this problem. The volume, V total, is just the volume of helium plus the volume of hydrogen. Is that okay? Uh, so that's the way I usually do these types of problems. There's many different ways and different types of Dalton's Law problems. There's just one of them. Uh, another way you could do it, so can I erase this? Okay. Another way you could do this or at least outline it. You don't use the ideal gas law. And you say, use kind of a Boyle's law sort of uh, way of doing it. So you'd say, for the Boyle's law, P1, V1 equals P2, V2. So at one is like the initial state, two is the final state. So set up a little table. The, and let's do this for whatever, helium. Okay. For helium, the initial pressure is pressure of helium before you open the valve. The final pressure, uh, that's what we want to know. What's the final pressure for helium once you expand it? We know the pressure has to change. Because the volume changes. The volume initial, that's given, volume of helium. And the final volume is V total, which is just going to be the volume of helium plus the volume of hydrogen. So I put these four into my ideal gas law. So P1, that's P helium, times V1, that's V helium, equals P2, that's what I want to know. 
times uh, V2, which is V4. I would do the same thing for hydrogen. So for hydrogen, I would get, it'll, it'll look just the same. Pressure of hydrogen times volume of hydrogen equals P2, but this is not the same one, not the same P2. But that's what you're solving for, times V total. The sum of these two numbers here is going to be your total pressure for the final solution. Because your total pressure is going to be a component of the final pressure for helium and the final pressure for hydrogen. You add those up. And it will be the same answer as the work, first way we solved it. You probably could even think of a third or a fourth way, but there's two example ways. <laughs>